gotta say, one thing about this game, it has an amazing soundtrack. I am a little bit sad that I did not grow up with an N64 in this game, because not only is this music great, but if it were nostalgic too, just the weird little funky tunes I hear from Spyro the Dragon, nothing compares to the beaut just the sheer beauty of Zelda's lullaby. This game has an amazing soundtrack. It's got a great story. I can see why people call it the best Zelda game. I still don't think it holds up to the other ones, but playing through it again and saying everything I like about it, it's it's starting to hold up again. I'm seeing where people are coming from. Anyways, uh, we need to talk to Zelda's uh, uh, attendant here. I am Impa of the Shikas. I'm responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are the courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Um, this is Zelda Lullaby. We can now play it on our ocarina. Yeah, I like to hold down the button long enough to do the song justice. You learned Zelda's lullaby. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. Lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Goroth. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help you prove your connection to the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with a stone. Alright, we're counting on you. Whoa! She caused smoke bombs. Uh, if you don't know what the she caught are yet... They'll be explained later. Anyways, uh, here we are in Hyrule Field, and we need to go to Kakariko Village. This episode and the next couple of them are just going to be collection romps. I mean, there's a little bit of story there, but if if uh, you if you're watching in a playlist and you don't care about me just collecting stuff, I'm sure you can look through the things, and you'll be able to see. I'll probably name the one. The, the one where we actually do stuff or something like that or story continue or something like that. I'll make it nice and obvious or at least I'll, I'll try to remember to and this is Kakariko Village one of the most I iconic uh, locations in The Legend of Zelda and it's got some nice music as well just very calming very farm like is how I would describe it anyways uh, between knowing that song and having Zelda's letter uh, there's no doubt people are going to let us through to um, to whatever, well, to Death Mountain. That's where we're going. But we're going to go there uh, after this nice big collectathon. So our first destination is going to be back here in a creepy graveyard. Yep, Kakariko has a graveyard. It, it has to be somewhere. I mean, people die and you can't just chuck them in the river. That's hazardous. 
So here we are, the graveyard of Kakariko Village. So many souls lost here. But we shall not grieve for them. We should we shall only remember their memory. Oh, if only we could give the Deku tree a proper burial. But well he's really the only tree that I like. And that's saying something if you know my vendetta against trees. Anyways The crest of the royal family of Hyrule is inscribed here. I've decided to give Navi my voice because during this voice it, it actually annoys me and it's kind of taking away from the story. So Navi will just have my voice since I don't want to give another female voice. Anyways, uh, we look at that, we check this. Royal Family's Tomb. Alright, so what we actually have to do here is we need to play Zelda's Lullaby. played that soothing music, the path will open. Whoa, it's getting kind of stormy here. What's going on? Whoa, what the? Everything's getting all dark and... Holy crap! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! It friggin' exploded! The... Huh? Okay, we went from a soothing song to a violent explosion. That was odd. Anyways, uh, let's go down the hole. Uh, for some reason, Link does not ever want to go down these holes. You have to, like, approach them very carefully and then drop down. It's kind of awkward. Alright, the Royal Families 2. Okay, so, uh, to get past this first part, you need to take care of all these bats, which are in Zelda lore called Keys. The easiest way to do that is with the, the um, slingshot. But... Looking around here, this place is so morbid. You'd expect there to actually be some coffins and not just the bones of the royal family just thrown everywhere. This is a very disrespectful tomb. A kiss! Alright. Yeah, this tomb is very disrespectful. As it seems to me. Just have everybody's bones lying around. Shine light on the living dead. Hmm. Thank you, Skull, for that hint. Also, I'm pretty sure all of these bones, they don't have any collision detection. So you can just walk right through them. Oh, I think this skeleton has something to say. Those who break into the royal tomb will be obstructed by the lurkers of, in the dark. Lurkers in the dark? Well, we technically just broke into the royal tomb, so... I guess we'll just have to deal with these lurks in the dark. Although, I've taken down other monsters. I can handle anything. Oh, do you smell that? Oh, man. This place is disgusting. I mean, look, it's all green. You can practically see the stink. Oh, I guess that's what rotting corpses sound. smells like. Oh, man. Ugh. This is the worst thing you could possibly have in the royal tomb. I would not want to be buried here, and this is for royalty? Dude, give me a hole in the ground, ain't it? Oh my god, what is that thing? Uh, uh, well, I can take it on. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Ah! Get off me! Get off me! Okay, these are re-deads, possibly one of the scariest uh, monsters in Zelda history. They're so scary, they actually scare Link with their scream. And then they will sap your energy. Uh, if you go into the green sludge, it will actually hurt you. So yeah, this is a, this room is difficult to get past. Okay then. So uh, once we come in here, we check this. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set, a newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something's inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret.
secret melody of the Composer Brothers. Hmm, keep the sun song in your heart. Let's see. Alright, so now we have learned our second song. Yeah, in in Zelda, I may have not mentioned this before, but you but you learn different songs on your ocarina or whatever instrument you happen to have in that game. I know in in Wind Waker, it's a baton, which technically is an instrument. Uh, in in Skyward Sword, you've got that. Well, what do you have in Skyward Sword? I forget. Um. I, but, um, I remember in in Twilight Princess, you had the wolf howling, which is also is an instrument. I don't know, some of the instruments get wonky. I know some of the DS games have some instruments, too. Like, Spirit Tracks has that flute. Anyways, um, that's how these things go. You play the instrument, and you do stuff. Stuff happens. Uh, restless souls wander where they don't belong. Bring them to calm with the sun song. What the sun song do is, if it's night, it will bring out the sun, and if it's day, it will set the sun. So you're basically, you can change from day to night. Also, another cool thing it does, let's see, how'd that go again? If you play the sun song around reed eds, it will stun them. So if you learn the sun song and a bun around a bunch of reed eds, it'll stun them, and you can just run right past them. Although if you hit them, then they will unfreeze, and that's not a good thing. Alright, uh, that's not all I wanted to do here. There's actually some collectibles I wanted to pick up uh, before I left, but for one of them, I'm going to have to take on a Reed Ed one-on-one. -on -one. So I actually want a little bit more heart, so I'll be right back after I gather some health. Alright, I got full hearts again. So I just went to Kakariko and chopped down some some grass and uh, moved some some crates. All right. So what you're gonna want to do, you're going to want to come over to this uh, second tombstone on the right and pull it out of the way. You should hear the classic Zelda chime and jump down the hole if you can manage to get down the stupid thing. D down. Okay. Now there's a re-dead in here. We're gonna want to play the sun song. And that'll stun the thing a little bit, but in the, in the long run it's really not going to do a lot. It's stunned, but the second we hit it, it pops out of its stun. And I actually have to kill this thing to get the treasure. So, wow, this is actually working. I'm bouncing myself back with my sword, but getting a little, getting a hit every now and again. Man, that is one of the scariest visuals. And when it jumps on you, that is one of the scariest things. Uh, I believe if you button mash, you can get it off of you. But these guys take a lot of hits, and they will regenerate. No, no, no. Oh my god, I just got my first death. Well, I suppose it's as good as place as ever to show you the game over screen. You can save immediately, and then continue playing. You'll start with three hearts, and... Alright, I'm gonna try to take this thing down again. Wait. Let's see. What does this do? Ah, this... Okay, now it's just annoying. Okay, yeah, that's not doing anything. Yeah, reed ends can be pretty brutal. And they're very difficult to beat. Alright. I guess this is a strategy. Spam the sun song and then just slash the crap out of it. Uh, uh. Scary! Scary, scary things! Don't get on. Ah, damn it! Uh, get off me! Get off me! Come on, sun song. Uh, but Redeads are really tough enemies. But I got them, yeah! And when they die, they just kind of lay there for a few seconds. 
just it's so creepy. They'll eventually go away and give you a drop. It's just so creepy. Let's see. What would Saria say if we told her we were going to save Hyrule? We just d shut up, Navi. All right, so that's gone, and now come on, pop up. It's oh, I believe we have to play the Sun Song one more time. Okay, I guess I screwed up, hit left or something. And if we play the Sun Song one last time, a treasure chest will appear. And inside, something very, very cool. We are going to get our very first heart piece. Now, I've explained this before, but now we're getting one, I'll explain it again. If we get four heart pieces, it will count as a full heart container, and we will get another heart in the upper left hand uh, screen. And that's more health, and that is very, very helpful. So you want to pick up as many of these things as we can. We have one right now, so uh, another three, and we'll get another heart container. And I believe in this little romp, we will get four. Now there's just one more thing I want to do before I end the episode. And, yeah, there's a reason I didn't want to do these all at once, because I want to explain how to get all of these in detail, and I, and I don't want to, like, just run past everything. If you go to the tombstone with grass in front of it, and pull it back, if you pull some of these others back, you might get uh, rupees or something. Or, oh, this is a Poe. Let's see, um, Poe, if you stare at it with Z targeting, it will disappear. Yeah, there. It just appeared because Z targeting. But I'm just gonna go ahead and go down here. Ah, and it knocked me down the hole. Wow, that ghost just punched me into a grave. That's a creepy imagery right there. All right, if we go over here, open this small treasure chest, we get the Hylian Shield. Yeah, this is another shield we can use. If we come over here and equip this shield, then. The shield will be on our back. Unfortunately, uh, if we won't be able to use it as a shield. I mean, we can block, but it's like this, and it's not effective for combat. We can't Z-target and block at the same time, like with the Deku shield. But this will have a use. Trust me. On uh, on Death Mountain, we will have a use for this thing. So don't worry your pretty little head. All right. Well, I think that'll do it for now. So, this is me, Thrasho2, saying, Be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't.